المصير واحد ما في مصير لأمارة ومصير لأمارة أخرى أو مصير لفرد وأفراد والآخرين لهم مصير آخر أبدا المصير واحد Thank you for coming in today. Really appreciate it. And thank you for the introduction. Yes, I'm Mohammed Al Hamadi, owner of Bacon More. Who is Mohammed? Well, uh, there's a long story behind, but just to give you, uh, summarize it and give you my actual expertise and my knowledge and thing is for more on the financial side. I worked with the government exchange for many years. Um, so, and, but at heart, I've always been an entrepreneur. And I had a frozen yogurt a store that was thinking back in 2009 to 2015. So I'm always into the FMB side of it. And the reason I chose the frozen yogurt was also for the health aspects of it, because it was a good, healthy alternative to a regular ice cream. So I had that for many years as well. Um, I got into this business is just right after uh, Corona. So when we had the COVID, many businesses were shutting down, especially the FMB business, which was affected, highly affected. So I saw this place as an opportunity to get back because many places had shut down and looking at it, things are going to start opening. So it was just about the timing and the timing we felt was right to get into this business. Well, my vision right now is to be the best in what we do. So our focus is to service the B2B customers with the best products, the products that they're looking for, for our B2C side of the business, which is the uh, cafe is more like a factory outlet. It's a place where people can come and try our products. So for us is to be, with, be best in what we do and also the vision of the country as well so we move along with that to give you an example like we have an electric charger as well so we believe in uh, the environment and conserve so we believe in a lot of things we try to uh, recycle we reduce our wastage as well to see so we we look in angles that we see how we can actually work with the i mean protect the environment we are extremely fortunate to where we are uh, dubai is extremely safe secure and this is what's attracting a lot of people and this is what's driving the business people come to dubai is because they know it's a place that they are safe you know? so <laughs> we can keep our doors unlocked and we don't have to worry so alhamdulillah we are very lucky we would uh, like to thank our sheikhs and allah uh, uh, they have done a lot for this place uh, <laughs> we're just trying to follow their vision and uh, we're extremely grateful for what they have done
Uh, I came in Dubai uh, in 2001. Okay, f you have to know before, no one knows Dubai, and even myself, so I came to see what I can do because I have a business in France and I want to do the same business in Dubai. So let's try. And uh, I work to many places. In my country, I, uh, I did a class to know about uh, my job, about the cake, about bread, about chocolate, about ice cream. It took two years. And uh, with this certificate, uh, I can go to any country to show about my work, all the French uh, pastry and French bread. After that, so I decided to go to Dubai and to open my own uh, pastry. I opened in a motor city. And uh, after, because I get many contacts and uh, I want to grow and I open many other ones. You have to know, at the beginning, no one knows Dubai and uh, it's by luck. I choose Dubai and let's see what I can do. I don't know anything about this country. It was Arabic country, I'm French, even I was not talking English. Of course, I don't talk also Arabic, but let's try. I know how to do cake. So um, I, did, uh, I decided to, do, uh, to open a shop. About back and more, so we have two types of business. We deliver hotel, coffee shop and restaurant. We are calling that B2B uh, customer. And we do also B2C, it means all the people from outside, they can come to the shop and we uh, serve high quality product. Mostly it's a French product, French cake. And uh, we do chocolate, bread, cake, and we do catering. So we can uh, go to uh, any, uh, any house with a kiosk and uh, we do uh, food and cake and party and birthday and whatever the customer wants. First, we do quality. That is our uh, first thing we have to do. We use high ingredients. We use ingredients from France. We use President Butter, uh, all high quality product. And to go to hotel, to serve the hotel, we have to have uh, some special certificates. We have ISO. We have ASAP and we have from uh, food safety, we have the letter A. It means the maximum what we can get. About uh, the employees, so as I told you, I am here since 2001 and I am lucky to have the same employees since I am here. Uh, we have many nationalities, we have like, I believe, eight nationalities. Of course, they don't know anything about the job. Zero. They start with zero knowledge. But uh, because I pass my time with them, so from zero, they are uh, now at, uh, they, are, they get a high level and they can manage, they can do French cake, they can do whatever I ask, they can do it. So now they have a, they have a good experience. For now, we have a factory and we have a shop. So first, we have to do these two type of business very well. One, it will be uh, high quality. Maybe we will think to to open a new shop. We never know what, we, what will happen, but uh, let's see for now, focus on what we have to be perfect. We never know what it will be after one year. Let's see. I don't want to, to plan because I want to be perfect first. To do business in Dubai, it's very easy because the government helps us because we have a business and Dubai is a business country. So for me, uh, why I choose Dubai, it's also, also for that, because you see, I have 32 employees. I will never get that in my country. So it's easy to grow. And uh, easy also to have many staff because they want to learn. All of us, we came in Dubai to make money. And the make money, to bank money, of course, it's easy because the business has to grow. That it's a good opportunity for us. Uh, about the staff, it's, uh, we have to be careful because we, have, uh, we are in a food services 
and the hygiene has to be perfect. So about all the staff, I check always if they are smoking or not. And of course, I will not have any staff who smoke, who has something like a smell, I don't accept. So everything has to be perfect from the staff. And uh, of course, he has to speak well English because we have a contact with the customer. And uh, he has to have some knowledge about the food service also. Every day in Bacon Moor, we are doing our own butter. Every Saturday we do a brunch, and during the brunch we show everything what we do. We do everything by scratch. We do our baguette tradition in 12 hour fermentation every night. For the customer, when they are coming every morning, they will get the tradition fresh. We are doing also our French fries every day. And the uh, specialty of, the, of Bacon Moor, we are doing um, our chips. We do uh, with a sweet potato and we do with a normal potato. Uh, what else we do? We do uh, our uh, viennoiserie by the French butter. It's uh, called President Butter. We are doing every day and we don't use any additive. And uh, we don't do anything for the shop frozen. All the product every day is uh, ma uh, making during the night and it will be fresh. Yes, Moila, Lamza, Jamie, Fan, 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 F